Hello friends, I am Uday from Pixel Group. It's a learning platform for kids. In this video, I am going to show you an amazing website called timeunded.com and specially I am going to show you a page called Night Sky. Go to your browser and type timeunded.com. Go for it. Yes, go to menu. Click on Sun and Moon. Click on Night Sky. Yeah. Uh, this page, uh, as it loads, it will give planets visible in the night sky in Hyderabad, Telangana, India. You can see that it is also giving some information about the visible uh, planets. I think all planets are not visible. Yes, actually, you know that we can see four planets that is Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn in night time through our naked eye without having any uh, telescope. And yes, Mercury, Uranus, Neptune is also visible, but not exactly, not any time. But yes, uh, now rather than going more into that part, I want to show you something amazing. This one. So click here. Let's see what's go what will going to happen. Yeah. As soon as I open, you can see that the planets. Now let's close this one for now. We'll come back again. You can see that uh, there are some planets. Now just click on this compass. This one 360 view on. Click on here. Make sure that this is on a 360 view on now <coughs> I'm moving my mobile towards sky I'm facing north towards sky this is sky you can see where exactly all stars are located and how they are uh, very very bright yeah can you see and you can use zoom in and zoom out option now these are all constellations like Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Lynx, Cassiopeia, Augia, Perseus, Triangulum, Aries, Taurus. Yeah, this is Taurus and Orion. Like there are so many. There are so many where you can point wherever you want to see. There you can see all these things, right? Now I'm towards east. Here we have Virgo and uh, just above it uh, there is leo constellation beside that there is leo minor and now let us see another one hydra crater chorus let's go for the famous one and uh, yes columbia monas Eris. yeah there are so many constellations which you can see and yes keeping these things aside i'll come here here you can see taurus and gemini yeah, let's point towards Gemini and let's zoom in. Can you see Gemini? Two people are holding each other and it's look like that. So that is why they named it as Gemini. Right. And uh, the heads are lit up with some stars. This is Castor. This is Alana. And uh, Sigma Geminorium. Mabus. Mabsita. And yeah, names. Oh, different names. Yeah, come back. Now, let's close this. Now let's concentrate on one thing, uh, the most interesting part of the sky, the brightest object that is nothing but Venus. Yeah, do you know that Venus is visible in almost every day in a year, in an year? Yeah, that's true. Venus is called as morning star or evening star. Actually, it's morning star and evening star. Six months of an year approximately is visible at morning time before the sunrise and six months in a year is visible before after the sunset like this now right now you can see the major bright bright object in the sky is nothing but venus and let us see like a best visibility of venus for today is 16 37 that is already completed pm and uh, uh, it's going to set venus set is going to happen at 21 45 that is 9 um 9 45 yes and it actually it's going to rise tomorrow morning at 8.43 and visibility is excellent. You already saw that like there is no, we can't see the moon, right? Let's bring back the moon. I'm going back in time. I'm moving this bar. So here you can see the moon. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just bringing up. Right. This is moon. This track of moon. Okay, that orange line is actually moon line, moon tracking. Can you see that? it is breaking right here that dotted orange means it's tomorrow means tomorrow moon is going to follow that path now the path has been changed from today to tomorrow 
this continuous orange line means the present line where the moon has been traveled right got it and now we'll go to venus and this is venus path it started from east somewhat in between northeast and east and the dotted line indicates that tomorrow where the venus path will be and yes you know actually venus is seriously an amazing interesting object in the night sky and i love watching venus all the day every day every day because uh, it will give more information like you, when you see and when you think when you understand these objects they are really amazing and yes anyway we all are very mesmerized with the stars now we'll go back to the moon position and let's go back in time i'm moving the bar again now this is just before sunset today today actually just before sunset you can see sun and moon are almost uh, nearby so that is why uh, the sun moon is lit very small amount at below this part below the part and yeah i'm going in time for tomorrow so that moon is below now it's on around night night completed and tomorrow morning what will going to happen tomorrow morning now nautical to light will to light i'll explain about that sunrise yes just after sunrise moon is going to rise right this is what going to happen tomorrow morning and also there are so many stars uh, as you know we can't see stars in daytime because of the sky is completely lit by sunlight yeah now i'll come back to present time click on live for that to come back to the present time to close this just click on the cross mark and yeah can you see that when i'm moving bar you can see some words are coming like sunset civil to light yeah i'll going to explain about these in next videos okay uh, after sunset we'll have civil to light that and then we'll have nautical to light and then we have astronomical to light okay and the same reverse happens at tomorrow morning first astronomical to light basically it may not be yes astronomical to light then nautical to light then civil to light then sunrise it's reverse to what happened at sunset i'll make another video by explaining what is these twilights and how it happens what actually the position of earth and everything like now let's go back at live and yeah i'll going to show you pole star you know polaris it always stays at north yeah this is polaris when you click on that you can see that orange circle yeah it always moves in that circle means it stays almost at a single point it is not not moving from east to west right and uh, polaris is present in ursa Ma minor constellation we have ursa major and here leo minor leo major like that there are so many constellations there are so many galaxies stars taurus auriga orion click on any dot uh, the brightest star dot it will give the name of that star okay if you want you can click here yeah lambda iridani canis minor cirrus like that now <clears throat> this is actually the present but what if i want to see what happened yesterday or 10 days before or sometime click on this calendar symbol go back in time i am going back to november to see jupiter <coughs> in november cirrus is not available but i want to go for jupiter yes jupiter is available it is showing that jupiter is here here where it is where it is yes jupiter is here so at this time means around uh, jupiter meridian passing like jupiter you can see it is in between west and southwest before just setting and you can see its visibility yeah i'm going back i'm moving it back yeah jupiter is not visible that much bright now i'll move the time a bit later like 12th november let us see jupiter again at that position and uh, sorry i'm going back to december 2019 where the jupiter is jupiter is below horizon no yeah jupiter is exactly near sun so we can't see now let's go back october 
during October Jupiter yes this is visible again with the excellent brightness like that we can go back in any time in future and past and we can see what will going to happen on October in October 22nd 2020 Jupiter yes Jupiter is visible in October on uh, October 2nd 2020 and it's a path it will be near Sagittarius constellation okay if we want we can turn on the 360 degrees view again on that day we can see different different constellations and Polaris is still at north right so let's go back to live let's go back to today let's come back to today yeah it's uh, 26 March 2020 we are again back now got it like that we can see different different planets and their positions their motion their movement their uh, a path in the night sky and there are so many things to learn from this interactive uh, website if you want to learn more uh, like move back let's go back moving back if you want to learn more you can go through the links which are available in this website and yes just share uh, if you have any doubts if you have any queries just comment below in the video and also you can whatsapp us directly to the number provided in the uh, description and yes make sure that you have so much interest on the astronomy yes anyway we everyone will going to have we are very interested in astronomy and uh, okay uh, yes this website is going to give you an amazing information about night sky with interactive animative screen and if you want to learn there are a hell of things to learn and understand about these things if you have any doubts any queries at any time please contact me i'll going to give you full information full knowledge on this right all the best learn a lot from this and yes i just want to see an astronomer from your end thank you bye bye see you next time in another video